Good morning, learners. This is your School on the Air in Mathematics 9. I am Teacher Gilbert of Benigno S. Aquino National High School, your Grade 9 radio teacher. I am looking forward that at the end of our session, you as a learner will be able to graph a quadratic function, identify its domain, range, intercepts, axis of symmetry, vertex, and the direction of the opening of the parabola. I am excited to help you do it. Before we proceed with our topic, let me give you these thoughts to ponder. Sir Isaac Newton once said, What goes up must come down. And in Matthew chapter 23 verse 12, it is stated there that whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Let us start. Graphing quadratic functions means knowing the vertex of the graph of the function in its parabola, which can be done by writing its vertex form. Let us write the following under vertex form. It is important that we determine the values of a, h, and k so we can describe the characteristics of the graph of the quadratic function. Parabolas are the same with the paths when we play Angry Birds, those imaginary paths to hit the pig. Let's have the first one. What is the vertex form of y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 4? I repeat, what is the vertex form of y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 4? You have 15 seconds to write your answer. So, the vertex form of the function y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 is y is equal to 2 quantity x minus 1 quantity squared plus 2. Again, the vertex form of the function y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 is y is equal to 2 quantity x minus 1 quantity squared plus 2. Very good. Let's have the next one. What is the vertex form of y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3? Again, what is the vertex form of y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3? You have 15 seconds to write your answer. Let us see. So, the vertex form of y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 is y is equal to the square of x minus 1 minus 4. Again, the vertex form of y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 is y is equal to quantity x minus 1 quantity squared minus 4. Let's proceed. What is the vertex form of the function y is equal to negative x squared minus 8x minus 11? Again, what is the vertex form of the function y is equal to negative x squared minus 8x minus 11? You have 15 seconds to write your answer. Okay, so the vertex form of y is equal to negative x squared minus 8x minus 11 is 
y is equal to negative quantity x plus 4 quantity squared plus 5. So the vertex form of y is equal to negative x squared minus 8x minus 11 is y is equal to negative quantity x plus 4 quantity squared plus 5. So you need to use the formula for h and k to find the values of h and k in writing the vertex form of the quadratic function. You are now ready to graph quadratic functions. Let us describe the characteristics of the graph of y is equal to a quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Of course, for y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k, we have the vertex. It is represented by the ordered pair hk. While, notice that we have the value of a. The value of a tells us the opening of the graph of the quadratic function. If a is greater than 0, the parabola opens upward while if a is less than 0, the parabola opens downward. Of course, if it opens upward, the vertex is the minimum point, while if the parabola opens downward, the vertex is the maximum point. Given hk as the minimum point, means h is the value of x that will give the minimum value of the function represented by the value of k. And given that hk as the maximum point when the parabola opens downward, h is the value of x that will give us the maximum value of the function represented by the value of k. Now having the vertex, Drawing an imaginary line from the vertex of the parabola that is perpendicular to the x-axis, we have the axis of symmetry. This axis of symmetry divides the parabola into two equal parts. While, since this is a line, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal to h. So, again, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x is equal to h. Remember that this axis of symmetry divides the parabola into two equal parts. Let us have the domain and range. Remember that x is the independent variable in our function. Therefore, the domain of the function is the set of all real numbers, meaning we can substitute any value of x for our function while the range of the function depends on its opening. If it opens upward, the range of the quadratic function is the set of y such that y is greater than or equal to k, while if it opens downward, the range of the function is the set of y such that y is less than or equal to k. So, it is important to identify the value of k. Let us try. Let us graph y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. Again, let us sketch the graph of the function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. Get your graphing paper and write the function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. First, we find the vertex. Transform the function in the vertex form or use the formula h is equal to negative b all over 2a and k is equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. That's the first step. And then, determine the opening of the parabola. Remember that if a is greater than 0, the 
opening of the graph is upward. While if A is negative, meaning A is less than 0, it opens downward. Next, determine the axis of symmetry and draw it. Remember that the axis of symmetry is the imaginary line from the vertex of the parabola perpendicular to the x-axis. It will divide the parabola into two equal parts. Next step, on one side of the axis of symmetry, choose at least two values of x and compute for the values of y. And then plot the ordered pairs. Again, on one side of the axis of symmetry, choose at least two values of x and compute for the values of y. Meaning, if the value of h is 5, you choose 4 and 3. Then find the values of y. Next step, reflect the points of step 4 on the other side of the axis of symmetry. Again, reflect the points of step 4 on the other side of the axis of symmetry. Having the vertex and the four other points, we have five points. We can now connect the points with a smooth curve. Let us now check. We now have the vertex of y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 as the point 2, negative 3. So the vertex of y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 is 2, negative 3. Having 2, negative 3, we also have the points 1, negative 2 and 0, 1. Reflecting 1, negative 2 on the right side, we get point 3, negative 2. While reflecting 0, 1 on the right side, we will have 4, 1 or point 4, 1. And also remember that our parabolas or the graph of the uh, quadratic function extends on both direction. So we now have the graph of the function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. Notice that the opening of the parabola is upward since we have a equals 1, so a is greater than 0, so it opens upward. And since it opens upward, the vertex is the minimum point. Also, the domain of the function, of course, is the set of all real numbers, while the range of the function is the set of y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3, which is the value of k. Again, the range of our function is y or the set of y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. While the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal to 2. So that's it. We just graph the function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. For your enrichment activity, let us have this problem. In a game of volleyball, Zafira hit the ball at 3 feet above the ground with an initial velocity of 32 feet per second. The path of the ball is given by the function 
s of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 32t plus 3, where s is the height of the ball at t seconds. Sketch the path of the graph using the given grid and answer the following questions. So you need to answer the following questions. Number one, what kind of function is used to model the path of the volleyball? Number two, what is the maximum height reached by the ball? And number three, what is represented by the maximum point of the graph? For your quiz, do activity four, draw and describe me. On that activity, you need to sketch the graph of the quadratic functions and identify the vertex, domain, range, and the opening of the graph. State whether the vertex is a minimum or a maximum point and write the equation of the axis of symmetry. You have 10 points for every correct answer. Girls needs to answer items number 4 and 6 only, while boys needs to answer items 2 and 7 only. Also, you do lesson 13, activity 1, what is in me, and activity 2, the beauty inside me, on your activity sheets. This is Teacher Gilbert saying hi to my fellow teachers, especially the Alamats and the Matitindes in BSNs. Sulong edukalidad. Be safe everyone. See you later wifey and my dear Safira. God bless us all.